cease to exist. So in this case, what we're asking to do is go ahead and determine the surface area. Now remember, for finding the surface area, um, what we need to do is determine what is the area of, what is the lateral surface area, or what is the lateral area, and then the lateral of the base. So the surface area is going to be the area of the base, right? And now since this is a circle, we know that the area of the base is going to be pi r squared. That's going to be the area of the circle, which is our base. And then add that to the lateral area. Now when we talked about a cone, the lateral area was pi r l, where l was our slant height, and r is obviously our radius. So now I just take that information and I plug it into my formula. So I have pi times 9 squared plus pi times 9 times 17 equals 81 pi 9 times 17. I guess I could do that would be 63, 90, 153. So now in my calculator, I'll do 81 times pi plus 153 times pi. And my final answer is a surface area of 735.1 millimeters. And since we're talking about area, my units are going to be squared. Anybody have any preguntas? Yes? If you don't squareize that, would that be my draw? Um, it depends on which test you're talking about. If it's going to be one of my tests, then yes. If it's going to be like the EOC or something, you they won't like have one. I'm, it's going to be a multiple choice, and I'm pretty sure that all the units will be the same. Yes? Is that a 735? 735.1. Huh? Yeah, that's...